This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking Scantic River Brewery 12, 13, 14. So obviously they brewed it because the date came up, what they say. I'll tell you right here. Uh, this hail is here to celebrate the last sequential calendar date we will see for 89 years. The next day it would be 1-2 of uh, 2,103, so one two three. It is a uh, Belgian brown ale, 8.5% uh, alcohol by volume, and that's all I know about it. Scantic River Breweries in Hamden, Massachusetts, uh, which is just a small rural town, oh, probably about 15, 20 miles from here. It's one of those towns you just can't get to from anywhere. Um, didn't even know they had a brewery there. I saw this up at the, one of my favorite beer stores, so I thought I'd give it a try because I've been trying to do a lot of local stuff lately. So it's a Belgian brown. Uh, Belgian browns can be all over the place. They're really kind of a catch-all style. But really, it's a Belgian strong ale is probably a better name for it. So let's give it a crack, give it a pour. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe and go ahead and leave comments because I love talking about beer. Almost as much as I love drinking beer. So, let's see what we got. So I would say it's a dark, dark, reddish brown ale. Only about one finger of head. I'm getting a little bit of alcohol lacing out of it. And the head is dissipating fairly fast. I'm assuming it's fairly fresh because it's called 12, 13, 14. We're only two weeks past that date. So I'm saying it's probably been brewed in the last month or so. Let's do aroma. And it's got, actually it's got some dark fruit in it. And it says that on here, right here. Uh, Scantic Rivers Brewery's Festival, Festival of Numerical Coincidence is a Belgian style brown ale formulated to provide hints of caramel and raisin. And you're definitely getting that raisin uh, date aroma in there. I'm getting a little bit of uh, the spice like a clove. A little bit of brown sugar. Yeah, that's kind of about it. A little bit of a, like a brown sugar, that sweetness, a little bit of spice, the clove, and a little bit of dark fruit. In some respects a fairly typical Belgian but in other respects, a little more subdued. It's a little less aroma than I get from most Belgians that I try. Let's go ahead and give it a drink. It's very, very, very sweet. And it, it, overall, yeah, it's, not, it's not very good. It really is. I hate to pan these guys, but so I get a little bit of caramel. I do get a little bit of that raisin. I'm getting like a metallic off-putting taste, like it's a, a, an old bad beer, which is this is just freshly bottled and brewed, so I shouldn't be getting that flavor in it. So I'm I usually I blame the stores when I get that. In this case, I'm going to have to blame the brewery. No bitterness. It kind of ends in a sticky, sweet mess. Uh, it's not good on the tongue. Just a shitty beer. It really is. Um, I'm not even going to finish it. I really not. Uh, I I wouldn't even call this drinkable. I, I it's it, it doesn't do anything. Um, score. I guess I got to give it a score. I'm going to give it a twenty. Two out of a, two out of ten. Twenty out of a hundred. Uh, sorry, I was hoping to really like these guys. I mean, I'm trying to see local guys do good, but you did something wrong here. I don't know if it was in the brewing or the bottling, but you definitely got a problem with this beer. Till next time, keep drinking.